Where I left off last time on the case is working on the backing plate. I needed to, I've got the two holes in. That aligns the plate so I can start drilling the other holes. I welded in this area here that needed a hole that was uh, vacant. I tried again to get the impurities out of this area. Yeah, it just, I think it's worse than it was before. Just little pits. So I'm not going to worry about it. Smear some silicone on it. It will seal fine. It's not structural. The whole casting is pretty much full of crap anyway. So doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is start marking. I'm going to put some grease on these spots. Lay the plate on there so I can see exactly where I need to drill these holes. Because you don't have much wiggle room here. And we'll start working from there. The bottom will be real critical because they're a smaller screw and they've got to go in these little flanges here and then in the corner. So there's really not much meat to work with there. Yeah, I put a little dab of my high tack grease on there. So I'll bolt that down temporarily, see if we can't get a transfer. And now I can see right where I need to put the holes, so I'll uh, center punch those and then drill them out to the tap size. Right, there's the two holes drilled through the plate. Now we'll take the number seven for the quarter twenty tap. We'll drill, carefully drill into the case. Pull this back off, drill those out to quarter inch, and then tap, tap the hole. By using the the new plate is a drill guide because I drilled these holes with the drill press so they're nice and straight. You can use a, especially with the short stubby drill bit, you can use a hand drill and get a nice straight hole into it without much effort. So now we'll pull that off and tap them. Yeah, I went ahead and enlarged the top two holes to quarter inch on the plate. Now we'll uh, start tapping. I start out with a uh, standard through tap. Since these holes aren't any deeper than necessary, I usually start them with a drill. Run it until it starts slipping. Then finish it with a tap handle. Like I said, this first tap is a standard tap. And then I'll come back with a bottoming tap thread it all the way to the bottom of the hole. This magnesium does a drill and tap nicely. Maybe full of junk, but at least it does those two things good. That hole should be deep enough. For the bolt sense plate. I'll do the same thing on the other side and we'll be ready to test fit. Alright, let's see if everything bolts on without having to break out a file. That is a nice fit. I think that's going to pull down on there nicely. So now we just need to keep working our way around. So just more of the same drilling and tapping. I won't bore you with all that. But we'll get that bolted down. Then we're going to have to worry about making the adapters or making the drill guides to go in the main bearing so we can cut the hole for the magneto. And there we go. That's all of the big bolts in the back. I uh, Doing it a pair at a time and using the same two to line everything up before you drilled worked great. Everything fit just perfect. Make sure to clean up the holes before you try to screw the bolts in. Make sure everything is completely deburred. All the little shavings are out because that magnesium seems like it wants to gall up even worse than aluminum does. So got to make sure it's clean. That leaves four 1024 bolts to go on the bottom but i don't have time to do that tonight so we're going to stop right here that's coming along nicely looks like it fits good and as usual it's pretty hot out here so i'm going to go in the air conditioning one other thing 
this Friday, I will be at Oshkosh. So if anybody else is up there, want to look me up, I'll probably hang around in the ultralight area, around by the Hummels, just goofing off, but I'll be there Friday. And if there's anything you'd like me to video while I'm up there, just uh, put in the comments. I'll be happy to take some videos, pictures, whatever you want. Thanks for watching.